Father, we come before you, God. We come this morning, Father, to give you praise, glory, and honor, God, because you, God, your word says that this Christmas day with the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in the Father. We just thank you for allowing us to see this day, Father. You have brought us, God, all through this year, God. You have brought us, God, almost to the last month of the year, Father. We thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for God for opening our eyes every day, God. Thank you for God, a personal health and strength. God, we just come this morning to give the God to give you thanksgiving, Lord God. We thank you for all that you've done, God, that you're going to be, Father God. We thank you for being our comforter, God. Thank you for being our God. God, we just come, God. Thank you for the breath of life, God. Thank you, Father, for just being our, our company people, Lord God. Know that those our our God, my God, we can't sleep, God. You're the one that's standing right there, God. God, talking to God, middle of the with God, and we're to our spirit, Lord God. We thank you to get to God for your word. We realize, thank God, that. All we need, God, is found in your word, God. There's love, there's joy, there's peace, God. There's humbleness, God. There's obedience, God. There's God, sacrifice. There's everything we need, Father. There's all tied up in one in your word. We thank you for the God, the living word. There's your daughter, son, Jesus, God, that hung, bled, and died on the cross, that we all may have a right to the true life. And Father, we just thank you for the blood that was shed on Catholic Lord God. We realize that, God, that we didn't deserve, God, what Jesus did on the cross. But God, we thank you, God, that you, have, that you saw, God, that you saw sick, God. And, Jonah, the dollar son Jesus, God, was able to give his life, God, as a ransom, God. We just thank you, Father, God. We can't thank you enough, God. If we had 10,000 tall, God, we couldn't thank you, God. We couldn't praise you enough. All that you've done for us, God. You knew, God, God, the whole thing that we're going to do wrong, God. You knew the thing we're going to do right, God. We thank you in advance for being our Savior, God. We just come, God, to thank you, God, for tomorrow, God. Even though, God, tomorrow has not got his time, we thank you in advance, God, for what you're going to do tomorrow, Father. We thank you, God, that you will supply. I have a need, God, because, Lord, you said, you said your word, God. If we ask, God, everything in your name that you will do it, God. We thank you, Father, for just being God, our, our, our God. Not only our God, our Savior, Father. We thank you for being our, our mentor, God, our covenant keeper, God, God, in the lonely hours, God. Thank you for God for being a tear dryer, God. Thank you, God, for being a comforter, God, when those that are going through people, God, were reading, Father, because you told us, you said, you would never leave a comfort that you would send back the Holy Spirit in your name, God. And we can't thank you enough, God. We bless your name, because we thank you for the pastor, God, every leader, Lord God. We realize, God, that all leaders, God, God, have a destiny, Lord God. We thank you, God, for our destiny, God. You know our destiny, God, but Lord, and we don't know, God, show us, God, give us, God, our destiny, God, that we may, God, walk, God, and live according to your will, your way, your word, God. We bless your name, God. We give the name, we thank you, God, for every child, Lord God. God, we, we thank you, God, for this, God, for this, God, leaving God on the, God, on the straight and our path, Lord God. We realize, God, that we all, God, have been, God, on a long path in life, God. We thank you, dear God, that you gave us a God. We have to talk to you, God, to come to you, God, to accept you as Lord and Savior. That God, we may, God, walk on the path of mercy, God. We realize, God, that the path of mercy, God, is, is not a crowd of God. It's, uh, it's sometimes, God, a little lonely, but God, we realize that you are a company keeper, God. We bless your name, God. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. It's in Jesus' awesome name we pray. Amen. Good morning, good morning, everybody. This want to, you know, encourage you this morning from one of the first verses I, I mean, I've learned being having have it over and over and over, we know. And that was uh, Luke 137. It says, uh, for, for with God, doesn't she be a possible? I just want to give for a title this morning, you know, I'm just that kind of God. You know, I, I look at that verse, you know, it says, for God, you know, that doesn't she be impossible. You know, God is the one that's able to do it impossible. You know, if God can use a man, you know, the, like Moses, the, you know, he can use a rod to strike the red sea, you know, and part the water, you know, He's just that kind of guy, you know, if, if, if he's the he's kind of guy that, that can make a, you know, animal speak, you know, you know, he's just that kind of guy. No matter what, if we look at our life, no matter what situation we may face, you know, this morning, this year, you know, this season, you know, just know that whatever we need, God is just that kind of guy. Because he said in his word that he said, I will supply to every need, you know, no matter what the need, no matter how big or small, you know, we, we serve a God, you know, that's that, that bigger than, you know, and we can even imagine because, you know, we realize that thing that, that but the heavens, you know, is, is far bigger than the earth, you know. We just want to thank God this morning that he's that kind of God that, you know, that gave his son, you know, that was able to, you know, to come down here on earth, you know, put on flesh, you know, and walk among us, you know, and, and lead us in God and then turn around and use the same and, and use men, you know, to write it, write, you know, inspire men to write his word. So he's just that kind of God, you know, he's the God, you know, that, 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 that's able to, you know, to lie down. You know, he's the same God that can pick himself back up. You know, I heard a preacher once say he he's the kind of God that, that can that can stand still and tiptoe at the same time. You know, he's just the kind of God. You know, mm -hmm. I just, we, we, we have to thank God every day for God for the, for the God that we serve, the holy God, the righteous God. You know, the one and only God, the true living God, the 
one that you know that 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 that, 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 that took dust, you know, and breathed, you know, and made man and breathed, you know, the life you know, and, and to it and became a living soul. He's just that kind of God. So no matter what you're going through, just know what type of God that can aim that able to supply and meet every need. He's just that kind of God. Be encouraged. Let the church say amen. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Give God praise. That was the one and only Dr. Lawrence Narcisse, Centralville, Mississippi, in the house this morning, every Friday morning for Friday Fire, live and in living color, right here at Simply The Word Church, a church without walls, a global community of prayer warriors. And we are making a mighty impact on this whole wide nation. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We've been doing so for the last 10 plus years. Don't forget the plus now. Don't forget the plus. The Lord has blessed us to celebrate 10 years this past May. And now we're working on 10 more. And after that, 10 more. And after that, 10 more. Amen. We're going to stay right here until the Lord returns for his church. Amen. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. Great morning to all of you on this day. Uh, following the Thanksgiving Day holiday, we trust and pray that uh, all is well, amen, where you are, praise God, across this nation, this world, and this country, our prayer is that you're doing well, you're, you're healthy, amen, you're safe in the name of Jesus, uh, praise God, we have been lifting everyone up in prayer, all of our various families uh, across this nation, all the prayer warriors, and we've been lifting this nation in prayer because this nation needs prayer. Amen. There's so much going on around us. Amen. But in spite of what's going on around us, we need to know who is in us and leading us. Amen. And that is God, our Father. So amen. Let us go right on and continue right where we are on this Friday morning. Now, this is Friday Fire, of course, Dr. Lawrence, North Sea Center of Mississippi. But this is also our annual Thanksgiving edition, uh, 2021 Thanksgiving edition here uh, at Simply The Word. Praise God. Somebody said, what that mean, Reverend? Okay, good question. <clears throat> what that simply means is that we're going to focus um, primarily today. We're going to try to get to the word of the Lord. I, I don't know, but we'll <laughs> see what the Lord say about that. Uh, but we're going to focus primarily on thankfulness. Write that down. Thankfulness. Amen. Now, keep in mind now, every day is a day of thanksgiving. Not just the fourth Thursday in the month of November. <laughs> you know, we wait on that day, don't we? We wait on that day to tell God, thank you. No, no, every day is a day. Write that down. Good morning, Facebook family. Good morning to you across this nation. Amen. Good morning, prayer line family across this nation. Write that down. Type it in. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. Every single day, <clears throat> we ought to tell the Lord thank you. And we ought to not only tell him thank you, but we ought to show it. We ought to show our gratitude unto the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Grandma must say, somebody do something for you. The least you can do is tell him thank you. <laughs> Amen. That includes the Lord now. Amen. The Lord woke you up this morning. The least you can do is tell the Lord thank you. My, my God. Amen. And that, you know, that we sing that song and I, and I, and I thank, you know, I tell y'all all the time, certain songs y'all just don't sing anymore. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all, certain songs y'all just don't sing anymore. I, I don't know. But uh, I don't know what the problem is, but uh, <laughs> but one song I, I'm, I'm grateful that you have never forgotten. Mm, I'm so thankful. I'm grateful uh, that that one song the church has not let go of. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> don't ever let go of that one. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And you, you Lord, I just want to thank 
you, Lord. You've been so, so good. Hallelujah. You've been so, so good. Type it in. Say the Lord, you, Lord, you've been so good. Type it in, Facebook. Lord, you've been so, so good. And I just want to thank you, Lord. Lord, you made a way. Has the Lord made a way for you? Lord, you made, you made a way. Mm. Lord, you made a, a way. So many ways the Lord has made for us. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. Come on, clap those hands. Put those hands together. Give God praise. Come on, come on, come on. Let's lift him up this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. You could have been dead, sleeping in your grave, but the Lord, come on, the Lord, amen, spoke to death and told death to behave. Don't mess with them. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with her. Amen. I'm giving them another chance, another opportunity. And I'm grateful, y'all. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. So today, everybody, if you're just walking into church, I see you, Sister Carolyn, Colin Debose. I see you in the house, New Orleans, Facebook. Amen. I see you, Sister Barb. Amen. Praise God. Baker, Louisiana, in the house. Um, amen. I see some others there. Y'all come on in, come on in the room here so that we can worship the Lord. And I'm sure we have countless numbers of others um, there on the prayer line. And we're so grateful for you as well. All right, Dr. Lawrence, <laughs> Dr. Lawrence messing with me. Amen, that's right, Dr. Amen. I'm hold you. Dr. Lawrence, I'm gonna hold you to that, Doc. <laughs> Dr. Lawrence say when he get his voice right, he gonna sing that song. Get it right, Dr. Lawrence. <laughs> Your boy's already right, man. Come on, say that, Tim. Let me know now. We're going to pass you the mic. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready. Amen. We're going to pass. We're going to pass the mic, my brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. And thank you, Dr. Lawrence, for a powerful word this morning. Um, and that's true, man. That's true what you said. That's true. The Lord is able. The Lord is so awesome. Mm. He's able to stand still and tiptoe at the same time. Mm -hmm. Woo, did y'all hear that? Somebody missed that. Somebody catch that tomorrow. <laughs> I wish I had a witness up in here today. Praise God. I'm so excited. This is our annual Thanksgiving edition of Friday Fire, Simply the Word Church. Since we don't have worship, corporate worship on Thursday, Thanksgiving always falls on a Thursday, by the way. Um, uh, so we, we do uh, this on the following day. Amen. So we want to, um, um, now those who are on Facebook only, those who are on Facebook only, you type in, I want you to type in and, um, and we will celebrate with you. We want you to start typing now. If you're on Facebook only, Type in, um, why, why are you so thankful? You know, as we pay special attention um, to the thankfulness that we should have concerning the things of God and concerning God himself, why are you in particular? And I want you to be as specific as you can be. Mm -hmm. That's right. Be as specific as you can be. Why are you so thankful? Why are you so grateful to God? What, what, what has God done for you? Huh? I mean, I don't know. You have to tell me. What, is, what has God done for you? Or not being ashamed in your game. Hello. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. 
And those who are on the um, prayer line here this morning, we are, we're going to um, allow you, amen, to step up to the microphone and, and share with us um, as a way of testimony. Now, we know you can't tell it all, uh, but just tell what you can tell. Hello, somebody. Say that with me. Say, tell what you can tell. Amen. Because we want to, we want to move, uh, we want to move along rather swiftly. But we, we want to give you an opportunity. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Susie Kilborn. I see you. I see you, woman of God. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Susie. You have been consistently supporting. Um, I should say me. You know, uh, because you also tip into. Uh, the local church platforms as well, Sister Susie Kilborn. We we bless the name of the Lord for you. God bless you, Amen. For supporting simply the Word Church as well as our local church platform. Thank you so much, Amen. Thank you so very much, Amen. I don't take that lightly. God bless you. God bless you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I lift up my dear sister, Sister Susie Kilborn. I lift up her family. God, I lift up every area of her life, dear God, that you would touch now in the name of Jesus. Where there's healing, God, heal now. Where there's, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Where there's sickness, oh God, heal right now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, where there's confusion, bring peace, I pray. Oh God, bring direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, we're gonna move along. We're going to move along, and we want you to share with us. Um, if you Facebook only now, just go ahead. I'm trying. I'm looking at about. I'm looking at about five or six devices here. So, so y'all bear with me. I'm trying to. Uh, uh, one device. We got the prayer line open. <clears throat> Another device. Um, we got. We got the audio feed. Uh, praise God. And um, in and out incoming and outgoing and then on another device we got we're looking at facebook trying to look at facebook here so we can kind of see who's on facebook um as much as we can um as much as humanly possible and then of course the screen i'm looking at right now is a zoom screen so we got a lot going on we thank god for technology thank him thank we thank him for all of this this virtual space that we have that he has created Good God. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. I bet, I, I bet Mark Zuckerberg didn't know that old oh man. He didn't know it when he was sitting in his dorm room in college and, and came up with Facebook. He didn't know he was helping the church. I wish I had. He didn't know it, but he was. I wish I had a witness. Oh, my God. We're getting ready to go on here. Um, amen. Sister Carolyn have already begun to type in. Amen. All right. All right. Praise God, Sister Carol, to say, I thank God for my biological family, my Simply The Word ministry family, for keeping us near the cross mm. Mm. and covering up with your love and your guidance. All right, praise the Lord. That's coming in from New Orleans, Louisiana. And Sister Susie Kilborn, I don't know exactly where you are around this nation. Um, just type it in there. Give me your, um, give me your, at least give me your state. <laughs> Amen. If not your city, at least give me your state. I don't know. You might be in Louisiana. Amen. I don't know. Uh, we like to know that. Uh, praise the name of the Lord. Sister Susie Kilborn said, I'm thankful for my children, for my grandchildren. She's in Baker. God bless you. Sister. Okay. You're right down the road. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Uh, I'm thankful for my children, my grandchildren, and just knowing who God is. Now, that's good. That's good right there. And having you and Lady King in my life. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And we're, we're grateful that you're in our life as well. Praise the name of the Lord. All right. We got a couple of people here sounding off on. Come on, rest of y'all on Facebook. Come on, y'all waiting. Y'all kind of slow, moving slow. Facebook, come on. Prayer line, we're getting to you in a minute here. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We're going to get to you here uh, in a moment. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, we're going to, I guess, begin with uh, Dr. Lawrence Norsey, since he's still close to the microphone. He still, he hadn't left. You know, he's he not one of those individuals that once they finish doing what they need to do on the program, 
You know how some folks do. Once they finish their part, they ease out. They go to the back, you know, and they, you don't see them no more. Think about it. They don't stand support you. Y'all don't like me. But they want you to support them. Y'all don't like me. Oh, come on. Hey, some folks do that. Hey, man. Oh, yes. Hey, I look around and say, what's Sally? Sally just did the prayer. I look around, Sally gone. <laughs> amen, amen. Dr. Lauren, talk to us, man. Why are you so thankful and grateful this morning? Come on, man. Did y'all hear that? Thank you so much, Dr. Lawrence North Sea Center of Mississippi in the house. Thank you so much for sharing with us on this morning. Amen. Amen. We are going to uh, go now to Sister Sandra Silas Hayes. Hey, I affectionately refer to her as 88. <laughs> she calls me 86. I call her 88. Sister Sandra, can you share with us briefly how you so why are you so thankful and grateful to God? First, I'm just thankful for God's grace and mercy over my life and giving me another opportunity like today to just be able to speak and to allow and to just thank God for allowing me to just be here. Uh, I'm so thankful for my family that he blessed my sister to travel in from North Carolina my uh, sister-in-law to come in from Texas, and I'm so thankful that my brother-in-law, John Perkins, uh, showed up for our family gathering. We hadn't seen him in a while with our family, family gathering. He has, has had many losses in his family, and this is his first time coming in to join. So I'm just so thankful for God's uh, son shared blood over my life and this opportunity to be on this prayer line. Well, bless the Lord. Thank you, Sister Sandra Hayes, blessing us with the word of testimony of her thankfulness, of gratefulness unto the Lord. And I heard you mention, uh, Brother John Perkins, that, that whole Perkins family, just such a beautiful, blessed family, loving family, amen. My family, all of us are connected there, and we're so thankful um, that the Lord bless you all in that area that he was able to show up. Amen. All right, let's 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 look at Facebook real quick. Sister Stacy Sensley, part of our family as well, Baton Rouge, uh, Facebook. She said, I am thankful to God uh, for making a way for me every day and blessing me with people in my life that have been a blessing in my life. Amen. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Sister Stacy Sensley. We know that and she is the wife, the widow of uh, the late great deacon McGarrick Sisley, who was on staff here at Simply the Word, part of our deacon ministry here, Simply the Word Church, and he's gone on <clears throat> to be with the Lord, going on to try the realities of another world. Amen. But I got news for you, Deacon Sisley. You can't crown him. Ha! <laughs> Till I get there. <laughs> I'm on my way. Lord have mercy in Jesus name. Lord have mercy. All right, Sister AJ Jones, Sister AJ Jones, um, Houston, are you local? She's part of my family. I think she's in Houston, Texas. Amen. All right, I know she's connected locally, but um, and we have been praying for Sister AJ Jones, and she came out all right. The Lord blessed her and healed her body. In the name of Jesus. Sister A.J. Jones, say good morning to everybody. And we say good morning to you. Sister Vicki Patterson, God bless you. Uh, Sister Vicki Patterson, I'm thankful for the Lord. Uh, Sister A.J. Jones, you're in town. Okay. All right. Sister Vicki says, I'm thankful for the Lord being my Savior and, for, and, and thankful for my children, my grandkids, and for all men and women of God. God bless you. Sister Vicki Patterson, that's the kind of uh, participation we want. Uh, Facebook, y'all keep on. We're going to go back and forth for a minute here. Let's go back to, uh, amen. Let's go back to our prayer line. 
on this morning. Praise God. Amen. Let's go back to our prayer line and and uh, we're going to pass the mic here uh, to some others who are uh, here on the prayer on the prayer line. Um, the voice that you hear every day at 12 o'clock noon, y'all know who that is. Every day, every day. You've heard this voice every day since uh, March of 2020. You do the math and you figure it out. Every day, 60 seconds. National prayer call. Amen. Deacon Rob Jr., come on, talk to us, man. Why are you so thankful to God? I'm going to tell you why I'm so thankful to God. God he, he keep me alive. He keep me, keep me going every day. He blessed me with a wonderful family. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Ooh. And actually, this thing, Paul, it will all go. Posting y'all, posting this 60 second national prayer call on a daily basis. It's March of 2020. Like he said, do the math. <laughs> and I'm so, so thankful and so grateful just to be, be on, be in y'all homes on a daily basis. Preaching y'all the two for one special, like yesterday, Thanksgiving special yesterday. Well, I hope you, I hope everybody, everybody's tremendously and wonderfully blessed. I've been getting, You've been getting emails and text messages every day about this thing. It should be a blessing to me. It should be a blessing to you. I'm, I'm doing this just to encourage people all around the world just to give them hope. You know, people just don't have that these days. The world's going go, going crazy, going please crazy. So I just want to say that I'm so grateful and thankful. Yes, to make a difference and make an impact. Amen. 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 Clap your hand for Deacon Rob Jr. Amen, 62nd National Prayer Call. And he is right even on yesterday. I hope you didn't miss it. I hope you didn't miss it in the midst of you eating all that food and stuff and, and overeating. I hope y'all didn't overeat. Did y'all overeat yesterday? Y'all eat too much. <laughs> um, let me think about myself now. Since somebody say, why you ask me my business, you tell yours. All right. <laughs> all right. Let me think now. I did pretty good yesterday. I must. I must admit. I, I, I. You know. I did okay. I did okay. I did okay. Lady King cooked a fabulous meal. Thanksgiving meal. Yes. Oh, she actually cooked it. Um. Um. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Wednesday evening night. And um. And yesterday. Uh. Before we left home yesterday by by twelve o'clock. Amen. Right after. Actually, right after the prayer line. Um, we, we had our dinner, amen, at home, and then we left and, and, um, and went to be with uh, her side of the family in Zachary at my niece's nephew's house, my niece's nephew's house, amen, and um, had a great time of fellowship. And, and I wasn't hungry because I had just eaten, so I did, all I did eat was a, like a fruit cup, ate, ate some fruit, and, um, and that was it, then went on up. Uh, to, to my parents' house there, Mac Bayless, and amen, and fellowship with the family, and still wasn't hungry, <laughs> so, you know, uh, did, didn't eat, I uh, don't think I ate anything there, I may have eaten a satsuma or something, I think I did eat a piece of fruit there, and uh, went down to my queenie's house there, some of y'all familiar with my queenie there, and fellowship, all of us went there, and uh, had a great time there, was spending there with her, and um, and uh, we we did you know bring a little uh, some 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 sweets and and a little food back home uh, from from there. Uh, but uh, but I did okay. And then my, we got home you know got home by six o'clock <clears throat> yesterday evening. And um, and then by that time I was hungry. So you know so I ate again. So but uh, you know I, I I'm one that I try not to eat unless I'm hungry. You know not just eat to be eating. I, I try to do that. Amen. So while I have the mic, I want to I want to I want to say uh, share why I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for God. I'm just thankful for Jesus dying on the cross and giving me a right to live, uh, a right to live. And Grandmama said this tree of life. You know, I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit leading and guiding me every day. If I didn't have the Holy Spirit, I don't know what I would do. Thank God for the Holy Spirit, which is the third part of the triune God. Amen. Thankful for my church. 
uh, and all the members, all the members of the local church and, uh, that the Lord have allowed me to serve and to lead and to, to be the under shepherd there um, for providing, amen, and leading and guiding us in the way that we should go. And also for this Simply Word ministry uh, church, amen, right here. Thankful for you. So thankful for you for being so dutiful and diligent uh, in, in, your, uh, in your attendance and in your support and your love, amen, over the years. Just grateful unto God. Just thankful for life. Thankful for the breath of life. Every breath I take, every move I make, I'm just telling God, thank you. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Um, thank you so much, uh, Deacon Rob, for sharing. Amen. All right. Let us see here now. All right. Sister Carolyn say, I ain't finished yet. Sister Carolyn say, I got some more to say. I'm thankful and grateful for God's unmerited grace and mercies and saving my soul from going to hell. That's a good one right there. Mm, that's a good one. Mm, if Jesus hadn't gone to Calvary, all of us would be going to hell. Ah! Jesus Christ. Mm. Sister Susie Kilborn, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. That's right. Amen. All right, praise God, praise the name of the Lord. All right, all right, all right. Let us go to Mac Main as we, and we're gonna hang out at Mac Main for a minute, y'all. We're gonna hang out, we got a couple people we need to pass by their house. We need to pass by their house in Mac Main real quick, amen. And the first house we're gonna stop in Mac Main is going to be Sister Ruby, Sister Ruby, come on, talk to us, woman of God. Why are you so thankful? I am very, very good. First, good morning. And I'm very grateful for all that the God has done. First of all, I'm grateful that he woke me up this morning. God in me on my way. And I'm so grateful that I enjoyed yesterday, another Thanksgiving. I woke up and was in pretty good health. And he blessed me to have all my children and just, just a portion of my grandchildren here. And I did, I enjoyed it. I, 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 I just, I have so much that I could thank God for. I thank God for my church family, simply the wood and the cure and take grow. I just thank God for so much. I just don't know where to start it. I really don't. And I'm just grateful, but I, I I am just so grateful for him healing my body. I I thank him for the pain that I had. God knows I did. And I am grateful, grateful for to have all you all in my life. Every one of you all, I love you. And I'm grateful that God put you in my life. We're doing Great things for him. I don't know what else to say. I should have, if I had known this, I'd have wrote some of it down because I can't even think about it. I, I just say, Lord, I just thank you for everything, everything that you have done for me because you have been so good and kind to me. I'm thanking you for the things that you have done, the things you're going to do. Glory, hallelujah. And God bless all of you, and I'm glad all of you all on this prayer line had a wonderful time. And we just going to keep on praising God for all that you do. All my folks, my family, everywhere. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister Ruby, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And for those that do not know, that's my mommy. Amen. <laughs> and the one brought me in the world right there. Amen. Most of the time, 99% of the time, uh, I refer to her as Sister Ruby. Amen. I am her pastor. Amen. And I'm blessed to be so. So I'm grateful for that. Praise the name of the Lord. Powerful word. 
Um, and you know, I'm gonna say this on the tail end of, of what Sister Ruby said about writing it down. No, when you don't write it down, you're speaking from the heart. So, so you did the right thing. You don't want to write it down. Amen. You want to speak from the heart and that's what you did. Amen. And I want to encourage us uh, when it's real, God will give it to you. God will give it to you. Amen. Because we don't have to, we don't have to worry about thinking. We don't have to rack our brain um, and try to, and try to figure out why we should be blessed and why we should be thankful unto the Lord. So you did the right thing, did a great job with that. Thank you so much for encouraging us. Amen, sister. And I want you to know, Sister Ruby, that Sister Susie Kilborn says she loves you as well. All right. She typed it in there. She loved you right back. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. All right. All right. We are um, uh, going to, amen. Well, we, uh, we've already, so I think Sister Carolyn is on both platforms. I don't know if she's able to uh, we want uh, y'all might want to hear her lovely voice, Amen. We've already shared some of her some, some of her testimony of thankfulness this morning, but we're going to allow her to speak as well. Sister Carolyn Debo's New Orleans. Good morning, good morning, my prayer warriors. To God be the glory. That's all I can say. Oh, God has been so good to me. When I didn't have a church home and I was away from home, God gave me simply the word ministry. Woo! And I've been in this going on 10 years now. I missed the first year, but I'm trying to do my best to make up for every minute, every second, every hour that I've missed. I just thank God for delivering me to the ministry and opening up an avenue where I could still serve a true and living God. I was, uh, for those who may not know, I was in Atlanta and then I was in Dallas helping my daughter to keep her kids because they had moved to Atlanta and she didn't know anybody. And by the time she found people that she knew and maybe could help her, the job relocated her to Dallas. And if that wasn't enough, then she had another baby. And I, I was stuck another three or four years there until the child was ready to go to school. But I just thank God for simply the word ministry and my second pastor, Dr. Burnett G. King Sr., for helping me stay on the road and saving my soul. Because without the word, I'm going to say it again, without the word, you cannot be saved. You've got to serve a true and living God. And that's what we do here at Simply the Word Ministry. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming into my <laughs> life and touching me in ways that I didn't know an outside family member could touch me. Some of you are closer to you than I am to my biological family, and I thank God each and every day for it. Amen. So continue to call into this ministry because there is a blessing with your name on it. Mm. Thank you, Pastor. Woo! Lord have mercy. <laughs> Come on, come on, let's praise God, Sister Carolyn Colin Debo, New Orleans. Now, I said something that I, I, I reneged on my statement. I apologize. I said we were going to McManus, didn't I say? And I said we we're going to hang out there for a while. Okay, you got me. Cold busted. All right. <laughs> we did go to McManus, and then we took a trip to New Orleans. But now we're coming back to McManus, Louisiana. Amen. I know, I know we're spending a lot of gas and you, I know useless. I know they don't make sense. But amen, what, what God tells you to do is not going to make sense. Amen. It's not going to make sense. So we're going to uh, go back, amen, to McManus, Louisiana. And there is a young lady there by the name of Sister Carla. Amen. She's a part of our family. And guess what? She's the one that have rewritten the happy birthday song. There is a Simply The Word edition. Praise God. Sister Carla, come on and share with us your thankfulness unto God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so thankful to God because He's just an almighty God, and I just thank him, yes. and I thank God for everything that he's done for me and going to continue to do in my life. I thank God for being a promise keeper, 
He's a healer. He's everything. Everything that you want him to be in your life. And all that he's done in my life. And I just thank the Lord. I thank him for keeping watch over us. Thank him for loving us unconditionally. I thank the Lord for for my family, for watching over my family, for bringing my family through this and through that. Some through sickness. He brought them through. My mom, I just thank him. And I thank him for keeping watch over all of us. And he's always giving us brand new mercies every day. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I thank him for for my biological family, all of my family. I thank him for my spiritual family. And a lot of them, they always encourage me and they give me love, show me love, my church family. And I just thank the Lord for having all of them in my life. Thank you for my pastor and their family, Lady King, Pastor King, all of them. Thank them for their encouragement. They always give us encouraging words to go on, and it's just, I just love the Lord for giving me all of that in my life and for my family and everything. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Amen, amen, amen again. Thank you, Sister Carla Evans, McManus, Louisiana. She said something, y'all. I don't know if you caught it. She said she thanked God for bringing her through this and that. <laughs> See, when you can't really, you know, you don't have enough time to really, you know, pinpoint everything. You just say this and that. He brought me through this. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. He brought me through that. Whoa, Lord, I'm so grateful mm -hmm. to you. You brought me through this. Come on, y'all. Thank you, Lord. You brought me through that. Whoa, Lord, I'm so grateful to you. Let's go home, y'all. Yeah, I'm grateful. Come on. I'm grateful. Yes, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yes, I'm grateful. So grateful. Woke me up this morning. I'm grateful. Started me. I'm grateful. On my way. I'm grateful. You brought me through this. Thank you, Lord. You brought me through that. Hey, hey, hey. Lord, I'm so grateful mm, to you. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Hallelujah. I'm grateful. Yes, I am. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Glory, 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 glory to your name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Father God, thank you. Lady King, I see you, woman, on Facebook. All right. All right. Are you able, are you able to, um, may not be able to dial in, uh, let me know. Lady King is on Facebook. Thank God for that. Amen. Thank God she's able to tip in this morning. All right. If you're able, because we want you to share. We want you to share. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, she said no. She's not able. All right. All right. Praise the name of the Lord. All right. All right, praise God. And she says she's grateful. Amen. She's grateful in Jesus. Type in, Lady King, type it in while you're grateful. You say you're grateful. Type it in there on Facebook. Amen. You know, we can't tell it all. Amen. Uh, but we tell a little bit. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I start talking about the goodness of God, I'll be talking to this time tomorrow. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know about you. If I start really, I mean really. If oh my God. Mm-hmm. I'll be still talking tomorrow. He's good, y'all. He's a great God. And that's why we should be so thankful unto him. You know, the psalmist said in the 100 number, um, there in the 100 number um, of, of, of the writing of Psalm, verse four, I believe is in the B part, of verse four said, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Lord have mercy. Mm-hmm. Be th- somebody write that down. Type it in and say, be thankful unto him and bless his name. Come on, type that in. Say, be thankful unto him. Why? Because he's always making a way. <clears throat> always. You made a way. When my back was against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. You May away. Oh, you may away. <clears throat> and we're standing here only because you may away. You may away. Mm. You may away. You made a way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. I don't know why, but I'm grateful. You made a way. Oh, you made, type it in, a way. Come on, y'all. You made a way. When our back was against the wall and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. Come on. You, you made a way. Thank you, Lord. Say you made away. I got to see it on Facebook. I ain't gonna stop singing. I know y'all tired of hearing me. I ain't gonna stop singing till I see it typed on Facebook. You may away. <laughs> y'all better hurry up. You want me to stop? You may all right. Away. Sister Susie Kilborn. Amen. Sister Susan. Sister Susan. Amen. Sister Susan and Sister Carolyn. Amen. You made away. Okay, I'll stop since I saw it. Amen. Y'all typed in here. You made a way. The Lord made a way. And he continues to make ways for us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All right. Lady King said, you made a way. All right. Praise God. All right. So Facebook, y'all got some trouble with Facebook? It's freezing up. Sister Susan might be on your, just on your end. I don't know. All right. I don't know, but we thank God. We're going to move on, y'all. It's 9.05, y'all. We, hey, our time is almost up. My God, my God, my God. This is our Thanksgiving edition. Simply the word church here, live and in living color. We just, listen, somebody said, what are y'all doing? I know you just walked in and said, what in the world are they doing? We telling God thank you. Is that all right? <laughs> huh? Come on. <clears throat> Let me know now. Let me know uh, if if that's all right. If we if if we press pause in the midst of our morning, woo! Yes, tell him thank you. Can we do that, Lord Jesus? Hallelujah! Just want to tell him thank you for all he has done. Mmm. For all he has done. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing. And thank you for what you will do. All right. Very quickly, Exodus 31. We're moving fast. We're moving fast. Exodus 31, we'll offer one verse maybe. Exodus 31. Okay. Exodus 31, y'all ready? We're moving fast. We're almost out of here. Don't leave yet. Tell your neighbor, stay in church. Where you going? Amen. Exodus 31, verse number, um, verse number um, six, really. But but I want to I want to make this statement concerning verse five because I didn't, I wasn't able to make this statement. Thank you, Sister Barb. Um, I wasn't able to make this statement on last time concerning verse number five. Uh, this deals with the workmanship um, of, of the Lord Jesus, uh, of, of God himself, the workmanship. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. And, and all of this shows that the Holy Spirit, who is working now among us, right? The Holy Spirit can and will, all right, uh, uh, help us in every aspect of our life. All right, uh, but but providing that we do that which is right, you know, you can't just do anything and and expect to be blessed by God, to be to be led uh, by the Holy Spirit. You must you must be obedient unto the law, and you know we we talked about that before. We talked about living a raggedy lifestyle, you know, and we offer that word raggedy into your vocabulary some of y'all may not use that word you can use it raggedy hey, some folk some folk live a raggedy lifestyle hey, amen and it's true hey, amen so let's let's go to verse six uh and i behold this is probably our only verse today hey, amen um and i behold uh and that's right sister susie kilmore said be holy be, be holy uh the lord said be ye holy as i'm holy all right and you know what Paul said? Paul said we were made in the image of Christ. Uh, we, were, we were made in that image. So we should live like he lived. You with me? And I behold, I've given, uh, I've given with him um, Ahaloeb, uh, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. I know I just tortured those names, but that's okay. Uh, I just butchered them all up, I know, of the tribe of Dan and in the hearts of all uh, who are wise-hearted. Watch this here. I want you to underline wise-hearted, wise-hearted. Highlight that, wise-hearted. I have put wisdom to the heart. In the hearts of all who are wise-hearted, I put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded you. So we need to notice here, and this we're going to the house, I promise. We're going, to, we're going to lift our offer and everything. We'll let you go. All right. Uh, promise you're going to be back at 12 noon, 62nd National Prayer Call. All right. Now, 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 let me say this. We need to notice here from this verse that the Lord says unto those uh, who are wise hearted. He did not say wise headed. Okay. We must be wise. See, wisdom is in the heart, not the head. Write it down. The wisdom of God is in our heart, not our head. There's a lot of folk with head knowledge, but no heart knowledge. Let's go to the house. It's a good thing we only had one verse, because that's enough word for me today. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of folk in the body now. I'm not talking about outside the body. A lot of folk in the body of Christ that have head knowledge, but not enough heart knowledge. Y'all with me? Somebody say, Reverend, what that mean? Okay, good question again. It must be something about Fridays because you asked a good question on Friday. Watch this here. All right, watch this here. All right, what that simply means is that, let me give you an example. A person, uh, one example is that a person who, who can quote scripture, but not willing to live the scripture. The scripture is in their head, 
And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with quoting scripture. I can, I can quote a few myself, by the way. <laughs> amen. Amen. But, but, but amen. Uh, uh, the reality is that, watch this here, the most important thing is that we live that scripture. That scripture, in order, and watch this here, in order for you to live that scripture, that scripture must be in your heart. All right. My homeboy, Derek Thomas. All right. Bless you, man. All right. Up in New Jersey. Bless you, man. I see you on Facebook, man. Love you, boy. Love you, man. That's my brother, man. Love you, man. He preached for us, local church. Every time he come home, he gonna preach. Man. Come on home, man, so he can preach. <laughs> Derek is up in New Jersey. Love you, man. Hey, Amen. Derek said, they said I wouldn't make it, but I'm still here today, holding on every day. And let me say this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Derek, you may not have heard, um, but uh, one of our brothers in McManus passed away, man, yesterday morning. And Derek Thomas, you may not have heard, but I thank you, Holy Spirit. And we're going to pray for that family. That's my family, my cousin, actually, who died. Uh, Amos Williams, man. I don't know if you heard that, Derek, yet, uh, but I want you to be praying, man, for Mac Maynard's community, praying for his family. Um, Amos Williams, we call him L. Hogg. That, that's his name, L. Hogg. You know, everybody got a name, country, you know. His name was L. Hogg. And, and, um, and he's gone on, man. He passed away. So we're, we're praying for that family. Um, uh, wanted to make sure Minister Derek Thomas, he's a preacher. Minister Derek Thomas knows that so that um, you can be aware and pray for your, pray for your city, which is McManus. All right, man. We love you, man. Amen. Praise God. But let me say this. We're going to the house now. We're closing this out. I, I want to drive that home. Uh, we must be wise-hearted and not wise-headed. Wisdom occurs. Wisdom of the wisdom of God is in our heart, not our head. You with me? It's, it's what first, first must it must first be in your heart. All right, to lead you, to guide you, to help you, to direct you into the way that you should go. All right, all right. So. Uh, that's it for today, y'all. Um, time is up. We're out of time. We're not out of word. This has been an awesome celebration. This is our annual uh, Thanksgiving edition here at Simply the Word Church uh, 2021 Thanksgiving edition where we have testified, just in case you're just walking into church, you know, we have uh, testified. We have given God thanks. Uh, we have offered thanks and gratitude unto our Father, our Maker, our Creator. And uh, all of those uh, who uh, pray we didn't miss anybody. I, that's not what we intended to do. This is an all-inclusive ministry. Do your hand like that, Facebook. Do that. One, two, three, do that. All include. Do it. You're not doing it. Do that. One, two. One person didn't do it. Let's do it again. One, two, three. All-inclusive. This ministry is all-inclusive. All right? So everybody is able to be used by God if you want to be. Hello? So if we missed anyone, uh, grandmama said, charge it to our head, <laughs> not to our heart. Let me let y'all go. I'm having so much fun with y'all this morning. Love y'all so much. Amen. Once again, uh, now keep in mind the Thanksgiving holiday is over, but we should continue walking in the thankfulness of God, offering him thanks, amen, and gratitude for his goodness, his mercy, and his kindness. All right. Let us remember that. All right. Praise God. Let us, uh, and I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, we normally go to Sister Carolyn for this, but I'm going to just do this real quick as we lift our offering. Uh, we're still in our giving campaign. Everyone, we're still in our giving campaign. And we've been here for a while. We're going to be here at least through the end of the year, first part of 2022, annual giving campaign. Luke 6, 33, check it, uh, Luke 6 and 38, check it when you get time, cash apps, you see the cash apps there, dollar sign STW ministry, dollar sign Buck Glenn King, dollar sign STW ministry, dollar sign Buck Glenn King, the PO box for mail-in purposes, especially those of you that may be out of town and don't have cash app, um, um, PO box 166. DS Louisiana 70727. That's my way of check or money order only. 
come on and do what is right. Be a blessing unto the kingdom of God. Amen. And uh, I say this every year, but you're going to be hearing me say it from this time throughout, through the end of the year, especially around Christmas time, is, is watch this here. Many of us focus so much on getting gifts for everybody else. All right. Um, but what gift are we willing to give to the Lord? All right. All right. All right. So that's our, that's our giving. We're going to amen, Sister Annette Jackson. Bless you. That's my classmate and my friend, my homegirl, part of our church, Hickory Grove Missionary Baptist Church. And um, she's on assignment in North Carolina. Praise God. And we want to allow her to, um, amen. We want to, all right, Sister Sandra, which number is 769, I'm assuming. All right, praise God. All right, Sister Annette, can you hear me? Sister Annette? Okay, let's see here. We're trying to get her. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm with you now. All right. All right. Let me know. Amen. I'm, amen. Sister Annette Jackson, come on, talk to us, woman of God. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm hearing in, in uh, Baton Rouge, well, back in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Yes, I am here in, in Zachary, Louisiana with my sister Sandra and her family. Hey, Amen. Well, thank God for you, Sister Edna. Yes. We love you in the Lord and we appreciate you so much and the fact that uh, you never forget home. And even when you're at home, you're able to come to your home church and be a blessing and share with us. We really appreciate yes. you. And uh, we, we're, we're just talking this morning about uh, our thankfulness unto the Lord, why we're so grateful. Uh, if you don't mind sharing for a moment, why oh, we're so yes. thankful. Come on. Absolutely. We are so grateful for even just for number one, for our life here on, on God's earth, just for being able to wake up this morning to see one of his blessed days that um, we're able to breathe his fresh air. Also, just being able to be around your family, uh, your loved ones, your friends. Um, I'm just grateful for that with so much going on in the world. Those are, those are like the top things that I know um, just for just being just audible, grateful that God has given us another day to breathe his fresh air. Hey Amen. That is so, so true. That is so very, you know, and the thing about it, Sister Annette and others, um, those are those, we think of those things as small, you know, the ability to inhale and exhale freely and to breathe the fresh air. We think that's a given, but really we should not overlook that and take it for granted. So thank you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, Every day is small. Like I'm in here with my niece and it's just like waking up like, whoo, thank you, God. Amen. See you another day. <laughs> Amen. You got Naya in there with you? <laughs> yes, Naya. <laughs> yes, Naya is. <laughs> Amen. Well, tell everybody we said hello. We love you all in the Lord. God bless you. All right. God all bless right. you. Thank you going to be here Sunday or you leaving before Sunday? I will be there Sunday. All right. Be looking for you in the house. God bless you. Love you much. All right. All right. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You too. You too in the Lord. All right. Bless you. Okay, people of God, we are going to amen. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm grateful that I, we, we didn't miss that. Um, amen. Those words from Sister Annette Jackson. Uh, Bob A. Man, she's a home girl and uh, my classmate, matter of fact, we graduated high school together and um, she lives in North Carolina, but she's at home for the holidays, amen, so we're grateful for that. Uh, people of God, as we get ready to close out this morning, uh, we want to say that, um, of course, today and every day, 62nd National Prayer Call, 12 noon Central Time, you don't want to miss it. Two for one special, Deacon Rob Jr. You do not want to miss it, all right? Also, we're pressing our way to Sunday morning. This coming Sunday morning, we'll be at the Hickory Grove Missionary Baptist Church, 10115 Gonzales Road in St. Francisville, Louisiana. For the nine o'clock hour, we'll be worshiping the Lord and we'll be lifting a word 
and uh, depositing a word, uh, that the word that God has given and provided into your spirit. And uh, also our Sunday school on the back end. We want everyone to come, those who are able to come, amen, and help us lift up the name of Jesus Christ. All right, praise God. And uh, also, uh, Sister Annette, let Sister Shirley know that we love her. We're praying for her as well. She, she was not able to make it to church um, last Sunday. She wasn't feeling very well. I think it was last Sunday. Again, all these Sundays running together. Uh, but um, but we have been praying for her and we love her in the Lord. Okay, so let me let you all go today. Y'all go on and have a great day in the Lord. Tell somebody you love them today. Do that for me. Tell somebody that you love them and tell somebody how much you appreciate them. You're thankful for them being a part of your life. All right, this has been our Friday Fire uh, here at Center of the Word. Amen, Dr. Lawrence Norsey, Center of the Mississippi, every single Friday right here. 8.15 a.m. Central Standard Time, Simply D Word Church. God bless all of you. You all go on and make a great, have a great day in the Lord. We love you in the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up every person under the sound of my voice, those by Facebook Live, those by Prayer Line and YouTube as well. God, we lift them up now, lift up every family. God, some have traveled to be with family for the holiday. And we, we, we ask that you would cover them with your precious blood and protect them, that they might be allowed to arrive safely back home. God, cover their, even their home while they're away from it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. If there be any sick among us, we pray now for healing uh, in the name of Jesus. We lift up Mother Christine Holland right now in the name of Jesus. God, we lift her up. Heal her body. Heal her body. Heal her body. Heal her mind in the name of Jesus, God. Give her direction now, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go to the house, y'all. If you meet me and forget me, it's okay. But if you meet Jesus and forget him, you have missed out on what? A lifetime. <laughs> oh, bro, Henry, I missed you, man. I didn't, we missed you. We missed you this morning, bro. Henry, I know you, I guess you've been here, but we, you know we love you, man. We didn't, we didn't mean to miss you, brother. All right. I love you all. All right. Y'all have a great day. Happy home.